Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create summary queries that perform a mathematical function on another grouped field in a query. These are usually shorter queries, often used for reporting. For example, if you wanted to know the sum of sales for each salesperson in your company, you could show this in a summary query, assuming that you were recording the salesperson for each sale that occurred. You would need to first create a query that has the salesperson field, followed by the sales amount field. To create a summary query, open the query in Query Design View, and then click the Totals button in the Show Hide button group on the Design tab in the Query Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. This will add an additional row into your query, the Total Row. Under each field in the query within this row, you will see the words Group By. The Group By value indicates that the query will group all records in that field that contain the exact same value. So using our example, under the Salesperson field, you would leave the Group By value intact, which would then group all records where the Salesperson value is the same. Next, under the Sales Amount field, you would click into the Total row and select the function you wanted to perform on this field for each unique grouping created by the other field or fields by which you grouped the records. So in this example, you would select the Sum function under the Sales Amount field. This query would then show you the sum of the Sales Amount field for each set of records grouped by the values shown in the Salesperson fields. These types of functions are called aggregate functions as they perform a function upon the aggregation of values within a field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.